What up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sebs and we're continuing to expand and broaden our horizons when it comes to the guitar. Um, th don't let the guitars back there fool you. I'm kind of a poser. Started playing guitar when I was eight years old and played all the way till I was 14, was in bands and whatnot. Never like properly trained and whatnot, but uh, but my ba the bands I played in, we were big fans of Metallica, Megadeth. We even got into some more complex like neoclassical metal like uh, like a Symphony X and whatnot, and we would play their stuff. So I got like good, like I could play pretty hard songs, but that's where I stopped. And then in high school, I, I started playing the acoustic and singing some more. Honestly, I was scoring more ladies doing that, so I, I just stuck with that. But I've been getting back into the, the guitar and learning some more, and a lot of you guys have joined me in some of these videos, like checking out Stevie Ray Vaughan and, and telling me about Dire Straits and seeing homies freaking finger plucking um, it's been awesome. And so today we have somebody who sp actually sponsored this video. Shout out to Kuda. That's what I'll call you based on your email address. Kuda says, thank you for playing my request of a very young Stevie Ray Vaughan. Oh, yeah. OK, so we yeah, we did that video, which was freaking amazing. Thank you, bro. Since you seem to enjoy guitars, take a look at this trio. Three different players playing three diff very different guitars. Oh, uh, I, and I think your your name is Roy. Again, thanks, bro. Everybody on the comment section, uh, send some love out to uh, to Roy. Well, OK, I have this uh, booted up. So we have Tommy Emmanuel. That name sounds familiar. No, it does not. I've seen him around, I think. The freak is he? He's Australian. In 2019, he was listed by Music Radar as the best acoustic guitarist in the world. Well, frick. OK, then we got John Jorgensen, best known for his guitar work with bands such as Desert Rose Band and the Helicasters. While a member of the Desert Rose Band, he won the Academy of Country Music's Guitarist of the Year. Dude, we're checking out like top people here and I don't know him. So again, I'm ashamed. That's why I'm glad I told you guys this stuff in the intro here. It's stuff like this that has inspired me to want to just start actually learning the guitar. Then we're checking out Pedro Javier Gonzalez, a Spanish flamenco player, fusion and classical guitarist. I do remember my brother when I was a kid showing me a Paco de Lucia. Well, I am very intrigued. I'm excited for this. They're playing Sultans of Swing. This video was posted on YouTube um, 11 years ago and has almost 12 million views. So people love this video. Well, let's freaking check it out. Thank you guys for clicking on this video and, and uh, thanks, Roy. Okay. Very interesting. I'm already pausing because the tone on that guitar. He's playing a left-handed guitar, right-handed? Is that what's going on? Let's hear that tone. Ah. I love the way they look at each other. They play such different sorts of styles of guitar, but they love the way each other plays the guitar. No, that's just a right-handed guitar, it's just a sexy guitar. <laughs> This is 
is freaking phenomenal, dude. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pause because I wanna talk before him. I wanna really give him all my attention. I've talked about this in other guitarist videos, but again, like I, the, the bands I told you that I grew up learning how to play, it was rock, everything was distorted. I could get away with a lot of mistakes when I was shredding a solo, right? I knew I was, I don't know, you can impress people, but I knew I wasn't that good. I wish I would have learned about people like this because like they teach you one, how cool it sounds to play clean and then just how impressive it is to play that flawlessly if you make an error here you will hear it but they don't make them and they also teach you uh expression through your solos not just speed and complexity just love how much fun they're having together here we go It's hard, like string does he use to bend the string on the... Picking it up. I think it's so cool that they chose a Dire Straits song, bro. <laughs> I love how... Like, I literally can't pick what sound I prefer. Because <laughs> when homie was playing on that Fender, I was like, oh, I'll take that all day. But then the electric, I mean, the steel string acoustic, oh, I want that. Now I want this. Cool, dude. I remember this from the song. Look at them, all of them. They're all soloing in a way that complements each other, though. They're not trying to take away the attention. Yeah, I think I want the Fender, bro. I don't want to play the guitar anymore, bro. Look at that, dude! <laughs> 
<laughs> That's so great! What is happening right now, dude? Dude, I'm overwhelmed, bro. Okay, so here's the deal, dude. I've been sick to my stomach today. I felt a little bit better. Dude, this song, like, I have a fever again. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding, dude. Like, like, I'm sweating. Oh, man, that was cool, dude. That was so cool to see. That was so complex, so amazing. Like, all right, so here's the thing, dude. I don't have that much money. I don't have money for a guitar. It's a hard year. Things are hard economically. By the way, I just found out that like my mortgage company can tell me, oh, hey, we were we miss uh miss uh, calculated your escrow. I have to like my my mortgage went up and it's already astronomically high. Anyway, so I can so the story is I, I am dreaming of getting a new guitar, right? And I've I've gone back and forth. I've wanted to get uh like a classical acoustic with nylon strings. Maybe buy the Tim Henson one, just because I love that sound. But then with the electric, with the 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 steel string elect, acoustic there, I'm like, okay, I have that. That sounds freaking awesome. Let me just play that more. And then I hear Homie come in with his with his Fender, and my goodness, it sounds so good. So if anything, I'm, I'm kind of mad we checked out this video because now I'm even more lost of what you know guitar I want to save up for and then here's the other thing I'm so mad like when did this happen 2012 okay so I had just come back from being a missionary and then I was in college and I was just completely immersed in my studies bro I didn't have a life like I had to work and pay my way through school you know so this happened relatively recently this is freaking amazing dude this is one of the best things I've ever seen and watched especially when it comes to the guitar what I love about this is that it then paints the picture of why um Again, we check like we check out Mark Knopfler for the first time, right? Just within like the last month. You have these this class of guitars wanting to pay homage to him. Like that's how good he was. So there's just so much that's cool about checking this out. Dude, I literally like feel sick again. I need to go lie down. So anyway, guys, I'm excited to hear your thoughts. Um, thank you so much for being here. Hit like, subscribe. Check out the description down below to find ways to support the channel. And man, that was freaking awesome. Much love, everybody. Till the next one. Jeez.